What separates Star Citizen from other games and projects out there right now is the immersion and believability of the locations you can explore. You can feel that you're at these locations. You can feel a part of your ship, planet, or moon, or city you might be exploring. But one of the things that truly breaks the immersion for me is the insane amount of key bindings. In particular, the layout of those binds. Whether it's reaching across your keyboard to turn on your ship with right alt K or a key, some of you might not have numpad plus to talk to the people around you with voice over IP. This is clearly not ideal. On top of this, what can be more immersion breaking than having to look down at a keyboard to turn on your ship? The only solution to this problem is to customize the keys to your preference, but there are so many and they are constantly changing. So I find it hard to remember what my custom changes even are. Many players resort to joysticks to gain this heightened sense of control and immersion, and they absolutely achieve that. You feel completely connected to the ships you're flying when using them, and you have many more axes and buttons quite literally at your fingertips, but more importantly, within quick reach of those fingers. But back to that binding problem for Star Citizen, it is really difficult to provide an extraordinary amount of keys you would need to play this game just on the grip of your joystick. I think I finally found a solution that works for me, the Loop Deck Live S. For complete transparency, this is a sponsored video and I was sent this product for free. So thank you to Loop Deck for sponsoring the video. And the goal for today is simply to share some of the cool features the Loop Deck Live S has and how I took my Star Citizen setup to the next level. So let's start out with what the Loop Deck Live S even is. It's a compact, customizable console that can be used for many applications like streaming, photo, and video editing, general system control, and more. It has touchscreen buttons, but they give haptic feedback so you know when the action is being sent. It also has uh, four physical buttons and two dials. The dials are by far my favorite, you can press them in for one action and turn them for another. And it comes with a USB C to C connector, but it also has a C to A adapter if your motherboard doesn't have USB C connections. If you don't just play Star Citizen and use other applications on your computer, the Loop Deck has a number of native API based integrations like OBS, Streamlabs, Twitch, Adobe products, and Final Cut Pro. And it comes with a profile for each of these integrations. But you can also customize them to your preferences. There are also third-party plugins you can download from the Loop Deck Marketplace. Some of the more popular ones are Voice Mod, Voice Meter, Philips Hue, and even Microsoft Flight Sim. Now, as I assume many of you know, Star Citizen doesn't have an API for its controls, sadly, so I use the Loop Deck's extensive customization features to make a profile of my own. From macros to mouse commands, I did it all. On the software side, one singular feature trumps all, and it's quite simple, but dynamic mode is amazing. Similar to Logitech's Logitech G software, the Loop Deck can recognize what program you're in and automatically switch the profile when I'm in the game. As someone who streams, edits videos, and plays games, this is really useful. You can organize up to 14 pages of actions per profile, so for a game like Star Citizen, you have enough room to make it work. You can also upload custom icons to truly make your setup your own. I got mine from fellow Star Citizen creator Glitched in Orbit. These were perfect for what I was trying to do here, which is really to simplify things and essentially have a dynamic label maker uh, that I can change at any time when CIG decides to completely change where the scan key is. Now my setup includes two VKB gladiators with the left stick angled with the loop deck right in front of the left stick so I can reach it easily with the less dominant and important hand. How I use the loop deck with Star Citizen starts out with the home page. It's quite simple. For me, when I'm out of my ship, the natural thing is to use the standard keyboard and mouse movements. But once I get to my ship, that is when I start utilizing my peripherals. So my home page and the rest of my setup is entirely ship based as this is where the immersion really is. But that is also where the keybinds are bountiful and quite complex to remember. It all starts with the flight ready key, which utilize the loop decks macro functionality. It turns on my ship, requests takeoff, and switches my loop deck page off the home page 
to my flight controls page. And this is filled almost entirely of controls I'm not using on my sticks. So there are even more being used during a normal session than just what you see on the loop deck. This is also a situation where I found room for some improvement. The loop deck software does not differentiate between right and left alt for control. So keybinds that are in Star Citizen would have to be customized to work with this. Now, just a note, they are going to be fixing this and apparently that patch is gonna be going out in March. So keep an eye out for that. With that said, my custom profile utilizes the default keys whenever possible. So my flight ready button doesn't use the default right alt R right now. It presses U and turns on the power, then I for my engines, and then calls the ATC with alt N and then swaps the page on the loop deck. Next, I would like to go through some of the keys that I tend to use the most as some feel natural to use on your stick exclusively like firing weapons, while the less time sensitive actions are really fun and immersive to take your hand off your stick and press some buttons. The first would be scanning, and this utilizes another feature that I really like and I wasn't sure would be included with the touchscreen buttons over physical ones. And that is there are two functions to some keys in Star Citizen. With one quick press, I go into scanning mode. And if I press and hold the same button, then release. This is how I send out a scan ping to look for mineables, salvage material, and other ships and players. Next is the Moby Glass and Star Map keys. These are bound to F1 and F2 keys, which are quite far from my left hand while flying with my sticks. A quick press on the loop deck, and I'm selecting a new mission or plotting my next jump. One of the most used actions are the contact ATC and landing gear buttons. Those binds are left alt N and end exclusively, which again is a bit of a reach from my left stick, which is quite active during takeoffs, landings, and approach. Now the keen eye may have noticed more than just the flight page on my home screen. There are a few options to get to them from here. First, I wanted to show you how I use the physical buttons. The far left button is gonna bring me to the combat page as I want that as close as possible. And the top right is for standard flight controls. Center is for mining and bottom right for salvage. You can also swipe an empty button left or right to change the pages to the one you're looking for, but this doesn't work well on full pages as you might accidentally press the buttons. I would love to see this on the dials actually. It's not an option currently. The combat page is one where most of the keys exist on the sticks as these are the kind of moments of panic, fast twitch and time sensitive situation keys, but certain keys can be useful on the loop deck in less hectic moments, like hailing a target, cycling friendlies, or sub-targeting a ship's engines before you are in firing range. And quickly, I made a little macro to quickly reset my weapon capacitor and revert to engine capacitor to keep full for any boosting you might need to. Last, but certainly not least, I wanna show you where this product shines for me and why it became a permanent part of my setup, the industrial pages. Let's start out with mining. Here I can unlock the ports to change out a mining module or a laser. I can swap my laser from fracture mode to extraction mode, but also most, I think more importantly, I can use my active mining module with one press. Sometimes I need to take both hands to press Alt 1, 2, and 3 for timing purposes. I place them at the bottom of the page to be as close to my left hand as possible, where I don't even need to let go of my stick to activate them. And just a quick note, you can find keys you've already created on the right side menu under custom, and then scroll down to stored custom actions. Then you could drag and drop keys onto a page that you use on multiple pages. I did that here with scanning, landing gear, VTOL, and my Moby Glass keys. Next is the feature that made the loop deck part of my permanent setup the dials. I utilize them to raise and lower my mining laser power. And what is great about these dials is they are indented. So each turn gives a little soft click of feedback. And this is what is so useful about it because each click represents about 1% laser power, depending on how fast you move it. So you can find the perfect sweet spot to not power a rock too fast and overcomplicate things. This is also where I found another opportunity for improvement. The loop deck software is quite in depth with its mouse movement controls and with these dials, but mining laser power in Star Citizen is bound to left alt mouse wheel. Now the loop deck has an action just for that. Unfortunately, the order of operations with this command is mouse wheel first and then alt. And I'm not sure it's even holding alt down. So. To work around this, 
you can see there is an alt key on the loop deck right next to the dial. So I simply hold down that key while manipulating the dial to raise and lower the power until this issue is resolved in the software. The only other industrial gameplay in Star Citizen right now is salvaging and is the most complicated and hard to remember bindings of any gameplay loop in Star Citizen. Right in the center, I have the button to switch into salvaging mode when you are in a salvaging ship. The right and left keys are used to select the individual laser heads. And the reason to do this now is the fact that salvage ships also come with a tractor beam option. So sometimes you might wanna use it and others you don't. So since the mode switching on salvage attachments is linked, the only way to individually switch is to individually select each one, swap, and then switch back to both lasers if you want to use them again. To do that, I click reset at the top center, selecting both and doubling as a return to scraping mode if you enter into structural salvage mode, which is located in the center on the bottom row. I can also gimbal my lasers and open my doors so a crew member can collect my RMC or construction materials from my cargo bay. And that about does it for my setup with the Loop Deck Live S in Star Citizen. This profile should be downloadable from the Loop Deck Marketplace by the time this video is out. And down below is a link to download my keybind setup. As, uh, yeah, I did have to change a few keybinds to customize the deck to work to my liking, right? I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We will have a link down below in the description to check out the Loop Deck Live S. And once again, thank you to Loop Deck for sponsoring this video. Feel free to leave any questions, comments down below, and I will do my absolute best to answer them quickly. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.